welcome to part 2 of wisnotes.com mathematics video tutorials on algebra quiz number 1 solutions. Question 3. Factorize completely 16p plus 2q. So when we're factorizing, the first thing we do is to try and add, identify what is common to both terms. What is common to both terms is, the, is that 2 because 2, the coefficient of q here, which is 2, can also be divided into 16, right? So we'll put 2 and we'll put a bracket. Now 2 into 16, that's what? 8 times. Now 2 can divide into p, can it? No. So right by the p. Put back our plus sign. 2 into 2, that't 1 times. 2 into q can be into q. So we have here q. And that is our answer. The answer is 2 bracket 8p plus q and that is all we factorize 16p plus 2q now you can test your answer how do you test your answer when you multiply what's in the bracket by 2 you're supposed to get back the equation that we just factorized so let's multiply it 2 times 8p that is 16p plus 2 times q that is 2q now notice we get back the same equation as the equation in the question. So that's how we know that our answer is correct. Okay, let's go on to the next question. Now we're supposed to factorize 169a squared minus 13a. Now let's do the same procedure. That is we're going to identify what is common to both terms. Now in this case, we have 13a and we have 169a squared. Now 13a is common to both terms. So we write back 13a. We put a bracket, 13a, and we're going to divide it into the first term. 13 to 169, that is a 13. a squared divided by a, that is a. We put back our minus sign. 13a to 13a, that is one. So that is our answer. That is our fact. That's how we factorize that equation. Now again, let's test it. When we multiply 13a by what is in the bracket, we're supposed to get by the original equation, right? So that's 13a times 13a. That's 169a squared. 13a times minus 1 which is minus 13a. So it is proved. This is our answer. And our answer is correct. Now let's go on to the next question. Question 4. Simplify 5 power 3 bracket 2 to the power of 2. Now this is an indice. And when you're doing indices, it's important that you re recall all the, the laws of indices. And the law that relates to this question is A raised to any power m and that raised to any power n is equal to a m times n okay. so in this case it will be this equation when we apply it to this question would be 5 3 to the 2 is equal to 5 3 times 2 and that is equal to 5 to the 3 times 2 that is 5 to the 6 now we can leave it as 5 to the 6 or we can actually simplify it that is find 5 to the 6th power it's up to you if we so if we find 5 to the 6th power that would give us 1 I mean, 15,625. Okay? So either of these are acceptable for the answer. Let's go on to the other question. This question asks us to find B raised to the power of a quarter, right? 
And the law of indices that tells us how to approach this type of questions are if we have a to the 1 over n is equal to the root of a to the n. So in this case, applying the law to the question, we'll have b to the 1 over 4 is equal to the square root of b to the 4th. That's our answer. So in approaching indices, just recall the law. Identify which law applies to the question and let's use that, that law to arrange the equation appropriately. Okay? Question 5. Solve the simultaneous equations. 5y plus 6x is equal to 28 and 2y plus 3x is equal to 18. Alright, let's use elimination to solve. This equation. Now, when we're using elimination, the first thing we have to do is we have to cancel one of the terms, or one of the variables in the equations. Let's label this EQ1. Let's label this EQ2. Now, to cancel one of the variables, the first thing we have to do is multiply one of the equations to get two terms in the equation to be the same. So in this case, I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 2. So that gives me 2 times 2y plus 3x equal to 13. Multiply all of that by 2, that is 2 times 2, that is 4y. 2 times 3, that is 6x. And that's equal to 2 times 3, that is 6. 2 times 13 is 26. Now this is the new equation 2. No, what I'm going to do next is I am going to subtract the new equation 2 from equation 1. Alright? So that gives me. So I'm going to subtract equation 1 minus new equation 2. And that is is equation 1 5 y plus 6 x equal to 28 I'm going to subtract that by 4y plus 6 x equal to 26 All right so that is equal to 5y minus 4y plus 6x minus 6x is equal to 28 minus 26. 5y minus 4y, that is y. And 6x minus 6x, that's going to cancel. So I'm going to have a zero here. So that is y is equal to 28 minus 26, that is 2. So y is equal to 2. Now the next step is to substitute 2 for y in EQ1. And equation 1 is 5y plus 6x is equal to 28. And we're substituting 2 for y. So where we have y, we're going to put a 2 there. So that is 5, 2 plus 6x equal to 28. That is 2, 5 is 10 plus 6x is equal to 28. And that is going to be equal to, let's go over here. That's going to be equal to 10. I'm sorry. That's going to be equal to 6x. And we're going to subtract 10 from both sides. That's equal to 28 minus 10. All right. 
and that is equal to 6x is equal to 18x is equal to 3. Let's sub divide 6. Divide both sides by 6. 6 into 6 will cancel and 6 into 18 is 3. X is equal to 3. So the solution is y is equal to 2 x is equal to 3. Thank you very much for watching this installment of the video tutorials on wisnos.com and please join us again.